back down with a skyrocketing housing market, record-breaking demand, and homes in short supply triggering bidding wars around the country. Google searches for, should I buy a house and sell my house, are at all-time highs in the U.S. Becky Worley has some tips from an expert for million-dollar listing. Good morning, Becky. Robin, good morning. Real estate prices are all about the supply and demand equation. COVID lockdowns have families wanting more space. Throw in historically low interest rates plus a lack of new home construction and the math adds up to sky high prices. This morning, with the housing market red hot, prospective buyers are trying not to get burned as demand soars, but supply is limited. Home prices rising at their highest rate in 15 years, up 11.2%. And demand so intense that Redfin reports nearly half of homes are selling within a week of hitting the market. That's a record. The market is crazy right now. The spike, a result of the pandemic, as more people work from home, mortgage rates drop, and millions of millennials now enter their home buying years. But people with dreams of owning a home could be in for a rude awakening. Just over 1 million homes available for sale now, compared to a peak of more than 4 million at the height of the last housing bubble in 2007. Newlyweds Alexander Tieran and Alexia Schaefer were outbid on homes five different times since they started their home search last month. We kept seeing houses on the market that would be gone within some of them literally 24 hours. With a little patience and luck, they finally landed a home within their budget. We were outbid and then their uh, other buyer fell through and they went with our offer secondarily. It's relief. We need to come up with a number that works for everyone so I can get this deal done today. Million Dollar Listing Agent Tracy Tudor says despite the competition, now is the best time to buy a new home. Because the interest rates are so historically low, know what you're getting into and make sure you secure that interest rate now because you will not find it again. A secret tip for buyers, use an escalation clause. In an escalation clause, you can say, my buyer is willing to pay $5,000 more than the highest offer you have. And then you can cap that. And most importantly, find out what the seller really wants. Every seller has different needs and wants and desires. Make sure that your broker is reaching out to the listing broker and asking them the types of terms that their seller is actually looking for. You'd be surprised. That can kind of put it over the edge, all other things considered equal. For buyers, our experts offer a few tips. Find out as much as you can about the seller, like she just said, with many sales being so quick. Sellers need more time to move out. Let them stay in the house for a few months after closing escrow. Also, don't get married to a specific price. Do the math. Low interest rates could make a slightly more expensive house feasible. Finally, have your loan ready to go, Robin. Those documents can take a while to organize. So, Becky, what are some tips for sellers? Right, sellers, if you are downsizing or planning to sell and then rent, now is the best time. But have a plan for next steps. You need a place to live, and sales and escrows can move fast in this market. Finally, a FISBO is a bad idea. FISBO, for sale by owner. You want to use a realtor who is well informed about your neighborhood. That's really the best way to maximize your profit, especially with these complicated multiple offer situations, Robin. It's crazy out there. FISBO, is that, is that a real, is that, did you make that up or is that really FISBO? No, my parents are realtors. FISBOs, no, oh. no, no. But it's not, all right, <laughs> got it. You're my best to your parents too, in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you, Becky. Mike. Sounds like a fitness